Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Tigers are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. from downtown Boston in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts, the site of today's exciting matchup. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Boston College has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country. You and I have been looking forward to this. Williams's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Really. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance of at least shutting him down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Lambert gains seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and two. carries the ball for a nice game. Man, it's always a plus if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Five wide. Enough for the first down. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. He heaves it to the end zone. They're really fortunate to still have a shot at points. That wasn't one of the prettiest passes I've ever seen. He's got to be relieved it wasn't picked. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. six-yard line. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Fires out 
to his receiver. And he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. with the option run there. That's a big game to keep this drive going. First and 10. Ball on the 49. Cox on the delay. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Sometimes the defense are a little bit confused on how to handle them. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. That's good for gaining three yards. That makes it second and eight. It and tackled in the backfield. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Roger, Roger. My 12. My 12. Quick strike to the back and he drops it. Stanley is the putter. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. This is a fun game and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Nice run there. Gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. the 42. Call it a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. And he's taken down at the 50-yard line. Gain of 8 yards. That makes it second and 2. Nice run up the middle. Gain of seven yards. First down. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. 34 is the fight. 34 is the fight. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of six on the level. That'll make it second and four. We've played one quarter. Now this one's scoreless. Even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. And 
and they get nice yardage on that run. Gaining four on that play. First down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Robertson will run it again. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 17. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and five. They hand it off, and they make the stop around the 13-yard line. They run it for the first, and he stops. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Clemson could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Crimson Tide took the field ranked number five and hope to use this opportunity to move even higher. And for Alabama, they look to continue their hot streak. Alabama leads it 3-0. Reese, 3-0 here. Oh, yeah. Coleman has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. They go with the run. Runs it right. Nice pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. Flips it middle to a running back. And he is drilled at the 40. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. The Tigers' running game really took a big hit. Their key back went out earlier with the injury. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. He's tackled at the one. These corners are showing that they're not afraid to come up and make a hit. Even if they aren't playing pass, they know how to disrupt the play. From the one yard line, second down. Mike 12, Mike 12. I don't even know why they showed up. Touchdown, Boston College. the PAT. 
A six-play, 68-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Boston College is lining up to kick this one off. Taylor fields it at the seventh. Gets to about the 27-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. And he's finally shoved out at the 47-yard line. First down. From the 47 yard line. First down. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. Williams picks up about seven yards on the scramble. The Tigers will use their first time out of the half. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. First and ten. They come out in a five wide set. Fires incomplete. That one sailed on him. He wanted his receiver, but I think that may have slipped out of his hands. That makes it second and ten. From the 25 yard line. Second down. throw out to the receiver incomplete yeah anytime a quarterback makes a throw like this the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play the worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback come over tell him it's all right and move on it's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it here by the quarterback making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score you talk about a clutch play they couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there so the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point he splits the uprights with the extra point a nice seven play 73 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard brad how about the guys up front the offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff rogers from the four. Oh, he got nailed on that one both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. This second way better tighten it up. They're going to slow down this drive. He's 
pushed out of bounds at the 21-yard line. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. It's first down. Chance for three or seven here. First and goal inside the five. Touchdown, he goes. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. And he's hammered down. Williams' stats right now are pretty impressive, but the team has not been impressive. They're struggling despite the fact that he's playing well here in the first half. Brad, I think he's played well enough for this team to be playing much better as a group. Unfortunately, the rest of his teammates aren't seeming to follow his lead, and I think that's going to be the real challenge for him as they go into the second half, is being able to get this team to be able to rise up their play to where he's playing, and then they got a shot to be able to come back and win this game. Yeah. Knocked out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Clemson's going to have to use their second time out of the hat. Here they come. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. I don't know what game plan this offense is running. It might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff. Coleman awaits the snap. Rodgers fields it at the 26. Knocked out of bounds at the 39-yard line. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. So much of the passing game is about timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. The Eagles lead it by four. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to 
to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick, you know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Gathered in at the six. He's taken down at the 31. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. Boston College holds a four-point lead. Makes it out to about the 40. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Nice run there. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. to get the first here on second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They try the right side. He's at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at the 24-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. Gives it to the back, and he hits him hard at the 24. That brings up second and nine. Boston College is up four. Crosses across the middle to his tight end, and they make the stop at the 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 10-yard line. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Tackle at about the 7-yard line. At the 7-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. We're at play number nine of this current drive. it to the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, BC! He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Taylor from the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle made at about the 37 yard line. That makes, that makes it second, second and two. And he's taken down at the 
two yard line. From their own 32 yard line. Third down. to the first and he stops. Coleman to punt. But not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 46. 12, 12. Brought down at the 39. That play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's the give. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 11. Very well designed play that time to give him a first down. Linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. From the 11 yard line. First down. So at the end of the third quarter, the Eagles in front, 21 10. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. From the 13 yard line, it's second down. Cox gets a ball left side. He's knocked out of bounds at the 10 yard line. That's a game three on the play. Third down. is out to the tailback on the screen. Touchdown, Boston College! So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. 
So after review, they'll change the spot of the ball and we'll play football again. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Mike 12. Mike 12. Check pass, check pass. Touchdown, Eagles. That's his third trip to the end zone. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. And he adds the extra point. Boston College gets set to kick this one away. Clark takes it at the 8. Gets to about the 27-yard line. The Tigers have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's tackled at the 49. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. Looks middle, got his back. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. Call it a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Bring him down at the 29-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 17-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. than three minutes in the game. Got him, but he's going to lose yards here. Loss of two. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From the 17-yard line, third down. Stepping up. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. That's a great tackle at the six-yard line. I think he made a late read of the defense there. Quarterback needs to be much more decisive with his option reads. We've got second and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. This is the tenth play of this drive. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. At the four-yard line. So the offense stays on the field here. It's fourth and goal from the four. They come out in a five-wide set. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off.
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. A little over a minute in the game. Loss of one there for the halfback. Loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down. They're deep in their own territory. He makes it to the six-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. That'll bring up third and eight. Two times, two times. one's in the books and our final score 28 to 10 Boston College as we finish up the broadcast what do you have to say about how this game turned out Kurt they had to play a complete game today if they wanted to remain competitive in the ballgame so to win by this wide a margin tells you something about the kind of effort they exhibited Boston College played a super game not showing any fear or intimidation and I'll tell you nobody deserves the W more than they do That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.